Yes, there are many treatments that we can treat. Um, largely because we group all of the ailments that somebody comes with into patterns of disharmony and that allows us to give a diagnosis um, for many, many different ailments. The most common ones that people are aware of that we treat are dental pain, um, vomiting, backache, um, nausea, and pain associated with osteoarthritis of the knee used as an adjunctive treatment. On the first treatment, I take a full case history and I do a treatment. Then I take all that information home, I go through everything and I build up a diagnosis and from that form a treatment plan, which I then use on subsequent treatments. There are channels of energy, sometimes referred to as meridians, that go around the body, like electrical pathways. And these are named after the nearest Western equivalent organ. So we have the heart channel, the liver, the kidney, the spleen. And it doesn't relate specifically to the organ, but to the energy associated with it. And the energy that travels around these channels is also referred to as the chi. Now, blockages can occur in this. And by stimulating various acupuncture points, we can help the flow of the energy to resume and to be free-flowing. The needles that we use in acupuncture are so fine that they're not like the needles that you have for an injection. They are really, really fine. Yeah, the needles are not like having mm. an injection. They really hardly feel it at all. Mm. Uh, it's more like you feel it, but it's not painful. Um, many people do suffer from back pain at some point in their lives and the doctors can't always help. The, um, in May 2009 there was a lot of publicity both on the television news and in newspapers that NICE, that is the National Institute for Clinical Excellence, were backing and supporting acupuncture as a good therapeutic treatment for backache.